Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, okay? So let us go ahead and jump straight into the reading, y'all. We are not even going to wait. I am anxious to see what the messages are that Spirit has here for us, okay? What are the messages for the Divine Feminines? Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not every reading is going to resonate with everybody. In the event that you need a personal reading for your personal situation, that information can be found in the description box uh, right beneath this video. Let us go ahead, y'all jump straight into it let us see what the messages are that spirit has for divine feminine thank you spirit messages for divine feminine thank you just for a moment joy okay so allow yourself to feel experience be in the present moment of joy okay underlying the energy currently is coming together so spirit is like it's all coming into place all right don't question it don't doubt don't worry just enjoy the moment that you're in okay um love on yourself tend to yourself all right uh cater to your needs all right this is what really is standing out to me right now with this energy this is how you bring in this new beginning all right 46 is 10 so yeah it's how you bring in this new beginning here okay so let us see shifting universes see what i'm saying all right shifting universes this is how you bring in the new reality for yourself all right i feel like a lot of the time people want to manifest things but then they spend hours and hours and hours talking about what they don't want and you know thinking about what could go wrong and all of that and so it's doing the complete opposite of manifesting your desires you understand it's like <laughs> the complete opposite of manifestation so with shifting universes here somebody has finally realized what they need to do is just be in that present moment stop worrying about what the future holds stop thinking about if this person if that person or whatever just be present to now this is how you ascend seven okay this is how you level up here so sensual awakening another 10 all right so definitely feeling yourself feminine is what i'm getting tending to all of your own needs my love okay what is this hidden beauty wow hmm. seeing and recognizing the beauty in all of you okay whatever that might mean but that's what they're saying you're completing some sort of cycle here um so cliche but it's literally like when the butterfly is coming outside of the cocoon right when the caterpillar first goes into what is known as a chrysalis and then over time it becomes a cocoon they come up out of it as something completely different so i feel like that's what's going on you know a lot of you were sad anxious worried afraid okay a lot of different feelings here where you may have even felt like all of the color was gone from your world you know some of you could have even struggled with uh, depression, okay? And now you're stepping into finding your happiness again, finding the happiness within yourself, okay? Which is going to bring happiness back to you from other things, other people. This is what I mean by shifting your reality, okay? So bringing the color back into your own world here, okay? Heart fire, <laughs> how you ascend, how you step into that new beginning, how you go up, you know, Hmm. How do I put it? I don't want to say up the ladder of passion, but kind of. Okay, so back to that kundalini awakening or sensual awakening. That's basically what's happening here. Okay, the divine feminine power within yourself with let the feminine lead the way. No reversals in this deck. Okay, the divine feminine power within yourself is awakened. All right. I mean, yeah, you are your own hero here. Burning hero. Okay. So let us see. One more for Divine Feminine. Man of the Earth, Woman of the Sky. Divine Feminine and Masculine Energies are in sync with each other. Okay. Expanding. Mind, body, and spirit all in alignment. Twelve, right? Mm-hmm. Which is three. Or taking one step at a time to accomplish your goal. And another three is the underlining, that burning hero again. All right, so beautiful energy so far, feminine. I'm loving this here for you. All right. 
it's really telling me that this is for feminines who are just not in a place of over concerning themselves with what their masculine is doing but really catering and tending to their own personal needs you know spirit just keeps emphasizing that being what you need for yourself in the meanwhile and when it's meant to occur it will occur you know it'll happen the way it's meant to that's the energy that you're in and it's giving you such a light loving you know fun type of energy all right, so let us see. Hmm. For our divine feminines, what messages do we have for them, spirit? How can they better care for themselves in this moment? Clearly, they're already doing great, but we can always do more, right? We can always love ourselves harder. We can always do more for ourselves. So what can divine feminine do to show up more for herself in this moment, spirit? Thank you. What do we have? Nourish your temple. Okay. The things that you're putting in your body. Mm-hmm. Okay. Taking care of your body. Yes, ladies. Whatever that might mean. Okay. Yoga. Meditation. Okay. You could actually be doing skincare routines. Okay. Um, working out. Okay. Different things here and there just to really take care of yourself. Dieting. Okay. Or at least being mindful of what you're eating, okay? Um, so all of this is what's coming out here with this nourish your temple energy. Sound healing, okay? Love that. So really tapping into raising your frequency overall. You know that with raising your frequency, you're raising the frequency of the planet. It starts with you, feminine, you know? It starts with you. Take a walk. <laughs> I love taking walks. Okay, take a walk. All right, spend some time in nature. Listen to the birds sing, talk, chirp. <laughs> okay, I swear they be singing. They really do. Having whole conversations with each other back and forth across the street and everything. It's just like, what are y'all even talking about? You know, <laughs> it's so interesting to just watch them you know, interact, but that's just me, you know, look at all the flowers or, you know, just look at nature, enjoy it. It's so beautiful. Every time I'm outside, I cannot help but see God, right? Now that's for people who believe in God. I know a lot of people are like, I don't even believe in God, what is God? You know, but for those of you who don't, just look at the beauty that's around you, period, right? It came from somewhere. It, it was grown somehow, some way from this earth. It came about, it sprouted, it, you know, so it's beautiful. It's something to admire and to appreciate being a part of because we are all a part of this. So once again, another seven, this is you ascending, leveling up here. Okay. Let us see. Once again, that nourish your temple, create art. Okay. Love it. So whatever that might mean for you, drawing. Okay. Coloring, I'm also hearing, because that can be meditative. Okay. Different things, you guys, that you express yourself through, okay, is what I'm hearing here. Some of you might really enjoy that, though, like just getting your easel, okay, getting all of your supplies, setting it up somewhere outside, maybe, because spirit is just really emphasizing nature, okay, just tapping into that, reconnecting with the earth, okay? Once again, <laughs> man of the earth, woman of the sky, okay? Tapping into that energy of the earth. We have here dance. Yes, this releases emotional uh, stress, trauma that's been built up and stored up in your body, your hips, your thighs, your feet, you know, your shoulders, dance movement right move your body is overall what i'm getting here your body is really being emphasized okay i just keep hearing that song too maybe because i keep saying the word body but i'm hearing it in my head and i don't have no music on your body is a wonderland and just you know i don't know if y'all remember that song all right but somebody here is recognizing their body is a wonderland they're loving their own body you know like 
it's just a lot here about you just loving all on yourself. You're loving it. Okay. <laughs> you are just loving everything about you. And it's a wonderful place to be in because think about it. When you're in that place where you are loving all on you, you're recognizing your amazing qualities and this and that, that means you recognize your value. That means other people will as well. That means the things you want are going to gravitate towards you. How do I know? Because it's how I feel about myself. So you're going to attract the things that you want. And it doesn't matter to what degree, what extent. It doesn't matter, y'all. All right. So then we have here, spend time with friends. You see what I'm saying? Chill with the ladies or the homies, whatever you chill with, you know, but chill with your peoples. Spend some time with people who are like-minded, like-sold, you understand? Like-sold, that's new, all right? With people who are like, you know, like you, when it comes to your soul, how you are genuine, pure, sincere, authentic, raw, okay? Uncut, truthful, okay? Need I go on? But we get the point, all right? 11-11 on the timestamp. Be with people who you are in alignment with. Spend time with those people who nourish your soul. Okay. I am loving this. Underline the energy here, sound healing. So definitely emphasis on that. Double emphasis on sound healing. Double emphasis on nourishing your temple, being mindful of what it is that you're eating. They keep saying something about greens. Also, y'all, divine feminine to divine feminine. Um, your chakras, okay. Eat to fuel and feed your chakras. Keep yourself in alignment. Keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself balanced. Keep yourself intact, okay, at all times, all right? Keep yourself protected at all times because when you are of high value or you recognize your high value and like I said, you're attracting those things to you, now you are also going to be attracting other things to you as well because those people want some of your energy or need some of your energy or they think they do or whatever so you have to be mindful of protecting yourself as well look at this light that's going to be shining from you okay <laughs> they're going to see that in another world okay so what makes you think here on this same planet as you people ain't gonna see it they gonna seize it all right and so you're gonna have to you know what let me be mindful let me protect myself not everybody is for me. Not everybody is my assignment. If my masculine is still being low vibrational, doing toxic things, treating me terribly, or whatever. You get what I'm saying? You might feel is going on, which might not be his intentions, by the way, guys. Don't hold it against these people. These people have to grow. They have to learn, right? But I'm saying whatever your situation might be, you know, instead of focusing on that, you're, you're tending to this. You have to protect your energy, okay? So, <sighs> let us see for our Divine Feminines. Let's get some loving messages surrounding the connection. Going to be a brand new beginning here, okay, in your connection. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. See what I'm saying? When you're doing you, why, right, when, which a lot of you are probably wanting to be artists or you're, you're artists, okay? This is something maybe you want to do full time, but you're like, ugh, everything I hear about artists is that they're starving. Who said? You get what I'm saying? Who even said that? Like, that's not true. <laughs> and if you're here watching this, then 10 out of 10 times you know about your words and how powerful they are and not just the ones you say, the ones you think and the ones you believe, the ones you soak into your spirit. Yes, those words matter too. They're very powerful. They're spells. So are you really going to put that spell on yourself and say, oh, if I was to uh, pursue my art or if I were to embrace my artistic nature, I would be starving? No, no. And so look, we have twin flames here. Seasons let's put the deck. Your passion ignites and new beginning. So there's a new beginning coming for this group of feminines because you're choosing to love on yourself. Okay, so acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, you can't change it. Just let it be what it is. Okay, 
we have embrace through each other you find the missing pieces okay transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things and then beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So as I always tell you guys, be mindful of that. And the underlying energy, once again, <laughs> twin flames. Okay, so this is for Divine Feminine. Let me pull some more here for my love bugs and wrap it up. We have pre-shuffle victory. All right. So the things that were being prepared for you that you thought you would have to wait forever for but you're not going to have to wait much longer simply because like i said you're loving on yourself <laughs> you're on this spiritual journey doing what needs to be done for you and this is this part that i'm about to say next is not going to be for all of you so don't take it if it's not for you and if it is allow it to marinate in your spirit and do what it needs to do honey a lot of you are on your spiritual journey doing what needs to be done for you okay with that being said, now that you are tending to your own grass, and remember I mentioned something about even if your masculine has treated you in a way where because they are unaware of what they're doing or they're not as conscious as you or whatever the case may be, you know, the situation is you weren't with them or you're, you know, not at the time, okay? Maybe people who are with their person has made you feel some sort of way because we have envy here in reverse. Spirit doesn't want for you to envy people. Spirit doesn't want for you to send hateful energy. And, and y'all, when I say send hateful energy, people are like, I don't do that. If you feel passionately enough towards something, whether you realize it or not, you're doing that. You have done that. And none of us are perfect. Okay, so with that being said, now that you are aware of what you were doing, now, see what I'm saying? You're not a bad person. So the person that you were dealing with is clearly not that bad of a person. You get what I'm saying? They weren't as conscious. They weren't as aware. Now that you know the, the power of your energy, what it could do, just simply by you saying, oh, well, when is that going to happen to me? When you see somebody else is happy instead of just simply congratulating them, that could be considered envious energy. You get what I'm saying? So now you're ascending, you're leveling up. And once again, that part was not for everybody, but for those who needed to hear it. Now you can get your happiness. Now you can get your joy. Now you can get your bliss because that's what you're focused on achieving. Not on, oh, well, when is that going to happen to me when it's somebody else's moment? Okay. See, you're appreciating everything, the whole journey, what it's taught you, where you are, what you know now, how you can apply it moving forward. All right. So this was a really, really, really beautiful reading, y'all. First, we talked about 11-11, 12 came up, all right? Now we have 21. Three, overall, is the number today, expanding. You're expanding. I'll speak to you guys soon. Peace and have